Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see that how can we apply the different types of formulas in Microsoft Excel. We have got a database in front of ourselves and we are going to apply the different formulas to our database to generate the different values of the different results as per our choice. Now these formulas can be applied in a variety of ways and uh, I'm going to show you the different ways so you can judge for yourself that which way is the simplest or which way you like the most. So you can continue using that way for the formulas in Excel. But first of all, what I'm going to do is just clean up my worksheet a little bit because it's been looking messy since the last tutorial. So what we are going to do is uh, I have got this tons of data that I want to clear. So for that, what will I do is just select all these data that I want to clear, right click on it. And here I will find an option of clear contents. So when I select on it and boom, all my data is cleared in one go. So that is an important trick that I wanted to share with all of you. Now let us start with our tutorial. So first of all, let's zoom in a little bit. And uh, this is the table that we got from our last tutorial. And suppose we want to add some data to it, like uh, if we are creating a database and we want to add the data, like what is the total amount of the sales that happened? So in that case, I will uh, like to generate a total of this total column. Okay, now if I want to generate the total value of the sales that I made, so for that I'm going to do is just select a cell like this one and I'm going to type in some formula to it. So for that what I'm going to do is just add up all those values that are available to me. So simple approach would be uh, to just sum up these values. So how can we sum up these values in Excel? Uh, this is the simplest way. What you can do is just type in an equals sign, then type in the values that you want to sum like 54 plus 78 plus 66 plus 32 plus 10 or anything that you want. Once you have typed all of your values, you can just press enter and you will see that the sum of all these values is shown over here. So that is a simple approach on how you can just sum the different data into a single cell in Microsoft Excel. But what about when you want to take up the data from the Microsoft Excel sheet as well? One approach could be the same like the one we just showed you. You can just enter all this data manually and sum it but that's too lengthy of a process. So what we are going to do is follow a noble approach for that. And for that exact same purpose, Microsoft Excel has given us some of the built-in functions which we can easily use. Now, how can we use these functions? So in this particular example, what we are going to do is make use of the sum function because we are going to take out the sum of all the currencies or all the payments that we are going to get. So for that, what we are going to do is just first of all, select a cell for ourselves then press equal sign into it and that is the starting symbol of all the formulas that we are going to type in Microsoft Excel. So always remember that whenever you are typing any formula in Microsoft Excel, just remember to type this equal to sign. And after that, what we are going to do is just write our function name that is sum itself. After that, just open the parenthesis and as soon as you do that, you will see that a help is shown in front of you like this. So here also what you can do is supply numbers to it. Suppose you can just type in 12, then comma, then type in 23, 89, 32, anything that you want and then just close the parenthesis. And as soon as you hit enter, then you will see that in this particular cell, whatever the sum of the values you entered is shown over here. And this is another approach of summing the values instead of putting in the plus sign, what 
we did is made use of a function of Microsoft Excel which is called the sum function. It is an inbuilt function that is given to us by Microsoft Excel. Now what we need to do right now is just press equals then write in sum open the parenthesis and now what we want to do is just sum all these values in the totals column. So for that what we are going to do is provide it a range that what is the starting address of the cell and what is the ending address of the cell whose sum we want to calculate. So in our case what we need to do is just provide a starting address like this one which is i4 and as soon as you click on it you can see that here i4 is automatically being written. Then what we are going to do is provide an ending value to it. Now to provide the ending value which is kind of a range what we are going to do is just type in the colon symbol which stands for through. So what we are going to write is we want the sum of the values from the address i4 through the ending address would be this particular cell and as soon as we select this that is i39 then you can see that the sum formula is automatically written like this. Then we can just close the parenthesis and press in enter. As soon as you do that you can see that the total of the numbers that is being written from the cell i4 to the cell i39 is being entered over here. Now this is one approach of uh, using the built-in sum function of Microsoft Excel. The other approach is suppose we write equals sum open the parenthesis. Then what we can do is just drag in our cursor like this to select a range of the cells and it will automatically get the range like this. Here you can see it. Then you can just close the parenthesis and press enter and then you can see that it has itself calculated the sum. Now another uh, approach of calculating uh, or using any formula or any built-in function of Microsoft Excel is uh, you can just select a cell for yourself then go to the home tab. In the home tab you will find uh, under the editing group something called auto sum. When you just click on this arrow there are these different options that are available and when you just click on the sum then it will automatically write the formula itself and when you press enter it will automatically find out the sum of all the values that have been written. You can see this is the uh, value that was calculated by the auto sum function of Microsoft Excel and its value is the same as the ones that we got when we manually typed the formulas ourselves. And instead of the sum what you can do is just calculate the average of the numbers. So you can just click on auto average and then the formula of auto average uh, or the average would be written automatically by Microsoft Excel and as soon as you click on enter then the average values would be stored over here. By clicking on count numbers function then there would be another automation and it would count the numbers. Now it is being shown a currency symbol cause on whole of our column we applied a currency data that is why it is showing in a currency format but you can just simply understand it that it is not a currency format it is just the number of the columns that are available or the number of the records that are available in the totals column that is 36. Now the question comes that can we use the autofill feature of Microsoft Excel in this formula itself? So the answer is yes. Suppose this is what uh, the formula we have written is the formula of sum. Now if we want to find the sum of the total unit scores then we can just drag it like here and you will see that it has generated some number that is different from this number. And when we just click on this cell and in the formula bar you can see that a corresponding formula for sum with the column H instead of I is written which ensures that the autofill feature works correctly and it shows the sum of the corresponding values for the column H. Now one important question is how can anyone remember the so many functions that are available with Microsoft Excel?
So the good news is you do not need to. All you got to do is go to formula stamp and here you will find an option of insert function. As soon as you click on it, you can just type in a brief description of whatever you want to do. Suppose we want to find the sum of the numbers. So what will we do is just click on sum and just click go. So you will find that sum function is shown in front of you and its description is shown as well that it adds all the numbers in a range of cells. So using this insert function also you can insert any type of function that you want in Microsoft Excel very easily. So that is all in today's Microsoft Excel tutorial. I hope you all have enjoyed it. And for more such tutorials, keep watching the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. Till then, goodbye.